my homies. So I know it's all cool to come up here like inspiring and very confident and all that type of shit, right? But like I wanted to kind of talk about this whole like if you know I quit my job, right? And I've been doing this YouTube hustle for a while, right? Trying to pop off and stay on this grind thing, right? But I want to make a video on the fact that it's okay to doubt yourself in the sense that I'm really kind of going through this, especially in the sense that recently I've been having a lot of thoughts of kind of like why the channel hasn't popped off yet or like all the work I'm doing, bro. And like, is the content not as good as it can be? And like, how can I improve and all this type of shit? Because the biggest thing I can take away from this whole feelings and this like mind space is this whole comparison to other people, right? With this kind of the journey you're on and just looking at how other people are like, oh, this dude's popped off in like six months, right? Or like, oh, this person's X, Y position, right? And it just makes you really, I don't want to come off like I'm whining and bitching or like I'm crying, right? Because at the same time, I was also I was also thinking about this before right? and I was just thinking, I'm about to hit 4K, right? And with the rate of growth I'm going at now, I'm going to be at probably like 10K around this time next year, right? And I thought about that, right? I'm just thinking, so 4K, right? I'm about to hit 4K. I'm just thinking, that's crazy, man. 4,000 people are watching my videos now. Like, I have 4,000 people sub to me, which is so insane because I try to be present, right? I definitely still remember the times I'd be posting videos, right? And get like 10, 15, 20 views after a day, or like, you know, bro, some. Oh, I remember when I'd be getting like eight views after like a week. So it's just, it's in. I do want to stay present and like grateful for that type of shit, right? But at the same time, knowing just how exponential YouTube growth can be and kind of just how virality can really explode type of shit right like you see people pop off ridiculous amount of numbers right i also look at that i'm just thinking like what is what what am i doing wrong you know because it's getting to the point where <coughs> it's kind of getting to the point where i feel like i don't know how to keep improving the content right because at the same time I mean, I'm not gonna stop, right? This might sound like I'm bitching and whining and crying, which honestly, I kind of low-key am, but you know, these videos are therapeutic for me in a sense, because I love doing these sort of like vlogs or kind of just talking, because I feel like, at least me personally, right? like at the moment, I love watching these sort of videos when other people post them, because it's just, it's just kind of like cool and very wholesome, getting like that deep, authentic perspective of like someone who's kind of going through that shit, right? And I feel like, oh, you guys showed so much love that last video, and honestly, it was so wholesome. You guys are the big reason I keep going with this, like, honestly, I just, plus, you know, I'm never gonna quit, because it's like, my mindset, especially nowadays, is like, if I stop, I literally have cancelled the potential to ever achieve that dream, and my dream is 100k subs, you know, popping clothing line, like, mad IG followers, like, financial freedom, revenue streams for days, like, you know, just really make that success. I really wanna, I just have really big goals with the whole thing. And if you quit, then the goals are gone. Like, what, you're gonna be a 95% of the rest of your life? Like, no, no, thank you, I'm fucking not. I'm trying to hit that, oh, I'm trying to hit that cappy life, you feel me? I'm trying to have like the luxuries, the cars, the rolly, the, oh. Not like that's the main driving force, but that's just a sprinkle on top, you know? Like, come on, obviously the biggest factor here is financial freedom. Like, I, that's, that's the core goal right there. And you're doing something you're passionate about, right? That's amazing, but come on, we're gonna get our cap off. We're gonna have our designer. We're gonna have our luxury cars. We're gonna have our jewelry. Like, come on, you know? We're gonna say present and actually accept that having materialistic urges isn't a bad thing, especially when you're using it to kind of drive yourself and achieve like big goals you otherwise wouldn't. But back to the main point, really, honestly, yeah, it's just, it's, you go through these periods when you just doubt yourself and you have a lot of, um, oh, I guess, negative mindsets and just, end of the day, I think you guys should understand that it's fine to have these thoughts and it's just, you need to understand that it's something you can power through and it's nothing, it's nothing you should let shape your entire reality because you have to be really careful about the things you do think about. So I know it's kind of corny, you see those like affirmations and all those like Instagram, Pinterest girls writing up those cutesy quotes and stuff like that. Like, I am perfect. I am good just the way I am. Like, you know, that type of shit. But it generally is true. Like those self-affirmations, like really repeating and really verbalizing that you can really train, construct your mind to act and like be in a certain way. So I just want to say, if you guys, anyone's feeling like, you know, the hustle is just getting really d dark and, you know, down bad and shit like that, like, I feel you. I'm, I'm going through it right now because, bro, this YouTube shit is tiring, man. But we ought to hustle and I just want you boys to know, my homies, that 2023 is going to be the year, all right? Like, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I kind of just put this on record and kind of just talk, which I do like in the sense that it's a lot less editing for me because, bro, those green screen videos and all that type of shit, oh my God, that shit burns me out. But, yo, another point, right, honestly, even though it, it does burn me out and it does feel like, you know, generally hard work, 
nothing can compare to this feeling I have once I've just completed the video and just boom, click publish. Like, oh, that is the best feeling, just succeeding and executing an idea. I love that. So that's the biggest thing I want to take away from this. And I want to say, just stay on your ground, guys. Stay on your ground. We're all going to make it, right? That sounds a bit corny, but... 2023 i'm expecting big things guys big things guys this was just like a little mini vlog i don't really know what to say but i'll see you guys next video